Hey there, LBCC. I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to use the Student Scheduler tool to register and plan out classes. I can access this tool starting from the LBCC homepage at lynnbenton.edu and signing into my MyLB student portal. Once you're signed in using the single sign-on, make sure you select your WebRunner account. So the Student Scheduler is located within WebRunner, this first option here on the left. Once you're in WebRunner, select the Student tab, and then Registration, and then navigate to Student Scheduler Improved. This is going to redirect you to the Schedule Planning tool and give you a number of options to choose from, as well as help you register for classes. The first option is selecting a term where you'd like to take classes. I'm interested in taking classes for Winter 2021 so I'll select Save and Continue. Then you can select all campuses where you're interested in taking classes. I'm interested in taking, seeing what options uh, are face-to-face -face on the Albany campus. I'm also interested in taking remote classes, so this covers all online and virtual classes for winter term. Uh, this will be the majority of classes for winter 2021, so I'm going to make sure to keep that selected. So Save and Continue. After that, you'll be led to a landing page that allows you to add courses and generate schedules as well as add breaks to your schedule. You can see all the preferences that I just set are at the top of the page, so I can revisit these anytime I want. I can see that I'm in winter and I have two of six campuses selected. I also see that I'm selecting open classes only. I can also change this to see classes that have a waitlist available or classes that are also full just to see all of my options. I'm pretty happy with only seeing classes that have available seats in them on my schedule, so I'm going to say save. Once you've set everything like you want it to be here at the top of the page, you can go ahead and add courses to your schedule. This is where I'm going to add all classes that I'm interested in taking for winter term. So you start by selecting the subject that you'd like and then the course number that you'd like. Once you fill in both those fields, a quick summary of the course that you're interested in will pop up. If I like this course, I'm going to say add and then you can see it pops up on the right hand side of your page. Once it's here, you can continue adding and building your schedule out and add as many classes in as you're interested in taking during the fall or winter. I'm also interested in taking a math class, so we'll add that in here. Once you're satisfied with all the options that you have here and you've uh, built your schedule out to your satisfaction, then hit the back button. You'll be led back to the main page for uh, your student schedule planner. You can see all classes that I've added are now here. Now what I'm going to do is fill in breaks in my schedule. Uh, these are places where I do not want classes to be scheduled. So I need to take my dog to the dog park between the hours of 8 and 10 a.m. on Mondays and Wednesdays. I'll add this to my schedule. And now you can see that it's popped up here along with my courses. You can add as many breaks as you want to in your schedule. And this just tells WebRunner that you do not want classes scheduled during these hours. Once I've added everything in that I want to, I can click Generate Schedules. You can see that the Schedule Planner has generated 62 possible schedules. These incorporate all classes and all breaks that I have. Um, if I, so now all I have to do is navigate between them and choose which one I like. If I go over the little magnifying glass, it'll give me a preview of what my week looks like. But if I want a more detailed view, I can just click the View button. This gives me a much more in-depth view of what classes are available on this particular schedule. I can see them all listed out here. I can see what campus they're on here and how they'll be delivered to me. All of these classes look like they're internet-based classes and remote. I can see a more detailed view of my week if I scroll down. Uh, you can see my breaks have been incorporated here. I can navigate between schedules by going to the top of the page and clicking these next arrows. I can also use the arrows on my keyboard. So you can see that uh, my options have now changed to a class that's happening in person. You can see this here. You can navigate between schedules until you find one that you're satisfied with that fits all of your parameters and preferences. I'm pretty happy with this one, Schedule 4 of 62. So once you're sure that you uh, like the schedule that you have here, you can go ahead and say Send to Shopping Cart. It'll ask you if you're sure. 
you say continue, and then it will kick you back to WebRunner where you can feel free to register for these classes. So it's taken all of the classes that I had uh, selected in the student schedule planner and moved them into your WebRunner cart. If I want to register for these classes, all I have to do is click this little register button. If I'm not quite sure or not quite ready yet to um, register, I can say save cart and it will save these preferences for next time when I log in. I can also clear cart and it will also save my schedule planning preferences in the schedule planner so you can access it again at any time. And this is just a little quick down and dirty introduction to how to use your student schedule planner and register for courses. If you have questions or if you run into any issues, be sure to reach out to the first resort. Our student ambassadors are experts at navigating uh, the schedule planner and helping you select classes and schedules.